ऑटेटिस एक्सटर्ना सेकेंडरी टू सबोरिक डोमेटाटिस सो फर्स्ट लेट सी वॉट इज दिस सबोरिक डोमेटाटिस दीज आर स्केली लीशन ऑफ द स्किन and it can affect any part of the body especially so in the scalp in the head it involves the scalp the eyebrows eyelashes nasal folds and the ear also in the ear if you see the external part is the skin line part so infection of the external part is called as otitis externa so otitis externa this can be secondary to seborrheic dermatitis so what happens is these type of patients they they present with otitis externa that is recurrent otitis externa they keep on getting the infection again and again so what is the reason for this seborrheic dermatitis so three three theories has been put forward one they say in the in these particular patients who are more prone for seborrheic dermatitis they have increased sebum production why because of hormonal changes that is one the second theory theory proposed is they have fungal infection especially this one malassezia furfur the third one is immunodeficiency state these are the three common reasons why these particular patients they can have any of these why these particular patients are more prone for seborrheic dermatitis now i have told you that otitis externa it can present uh, secondary to seborrheic dermatitis so it can present in two ways that is they come with recurrent ear infection so in that stage they'll be coming complaining of ear severe ear pain and on examination there'll be ear discharge so we usually treat the ear infection first so it has to be treated properly then the the primary cause has to be treated that is one way of presentation second way of presentation is they say that they have itching of the ear constantly always so this is what this stage is what we are going to uh, see now so if you want to know how to treat acute otitis externa please do watch my video which is a separate video and it comes under the heading acute otitis externa so this part this video we are going to concentrate only on otitis externa secondary to seborrheic dermatitis so when you examine the patient and uh, when you put in a camera into the ear that is by with an endoscope when you see the ear inside and if this is a non infective stage the acute infection has been treated and you can see scaly lesions in the external canal and when you examine behind the ear there is a fold and the lobule part you can find scaly lesions in continue with the scalp you have scaly lesions so we have a diagnosis now so how to treat this so i have mentioned before that they can present either with recurrent otitis externa or it can be chronic stage so first if they in case they present in the infective stage acute stage we have to treat the acute infection how we have to do daily ear cleaning suction cleaning and remove all the pus application of ear drops maybe you need a course of antibiotics too and prevent air, um, entry of uh, water water during especially during the head shower by using a uh, cotton and applying vaseline over it or using a customized ear plug so we have to treat the acute otitis externa first followed by treatment of seborrheic dermatitis so how are you going to do that for that once the acute stage has been treated we have to apply lotion twice daily for at least for 2 weeks so this is the lotion which i am mentioning is a combination of three lotions so we have to take one one drop each from each lotion mix it up and apply daily twice daily for 2 weeks this alone will not do the work we have to treat the primary source that is the scalp or anywhere else wherever you have the seborrheic dermatitis the scalp mainly from where the, it starts start spreading from the scalp to other parts of the body so we have to treat the scalp part properly so when i tell you the treatment of the scalp part you will come to know the lotion which i am talking about the three lotions how you mix it up what we mix it up you will come to know from that so here we come the first lotion it contains salicylic acid and coal tar so i have given a trade name also the second lotion contains steroid the third lotion contains antifungal 
So these three lotions, we have to take three, three drops each. Mix it up properly, wet the scalp hair head nicely and apply over the scalp and do a gentle massage for five minutes. So you don't have to take too much of lotion. Minimal is enough, but the point is it has to be applied in the scalp, not over the hair. So once you have done massaging with this lotion for five minutes, leave it for next five to 10 minutes. And after that, you can have a head shower. Now, from then onwards, every alternate day for at least for one month, you have to repeat the same thing. After one month, you have to do weekly ones till the whole scalp lesion becomes free of dandruff. So this is for the mild, mild form. Suppose the patient has gone to the next stage and he has got thick lesions in the scalp. This alone will not be enough. In that case, you need to apply ointment in the night before you go to sleep. In addition to the three lotions which I have used. That ointment which you need to apply in the night, it can be either Topizol or Momerex ointment. So these two ointments, these are available in two different sizes. Either it can be small tubes or it can be a moderate size tube. So you don't have to, the small tube itself, you don't have to remove the whole thing. Just little is enough, just apply to the fingertips and do a nice massage in the scalp. And leave it like that for the, or, leave, it, leave it like that overnight. That is for the next stage. And if suppose in, by even by doing this, the scalp lesion is not coming down or you can say it has decreased but it is not gone. In that case, we need to add up a course of antifungal treat, treatment also, medication like oral treatment also. So it can be fluconazole 150 milligram weekly once for six weeks or tablet itrogonazole every day, 200 milligrams every daily for one week. Either of these will be prescribed to you. And in still more advanced case, we can add up an immunomodulator also, that is ointment tacrolimus. That also can be applied. Now, in case, by even by doing all this, it has gone, say, say you can say about 80-90%, but you feel my leaching on and off, you are still getting. And it has not gone completely. We can go into next treatment modality. You can undergo UV, uh, UVB therapy. This, you have two forms. Either it can be, a cabin can be made use or handheld machines can be made use. So, this is how you treat otitis externa secondary to seborrheic dermatitis. Thank you so much.